this lesson, I'm going to show you how to thread your sewing machine. Now, the first time that you do this, it can seem like a really long-winded, complicated process, but please don't let that put you off because I promise that once you've practiced a few times, you're gonna be able to do the whole thing in about 20 seconds with your eyes closed. So let's do it. The sewing machine creates stitches by intertwining thread from two different sources. The spool, which is what you buy thread on, and this goes on the top of the machine, and the bobbin, which goes on the bottom of the machine. The first thing we need to do is get some of your chosen colour thread off the spool and onto the bobbin, so the stitches are the same colour on both sides. There's a prong called the spool pin on the top of the machine, and it'll either be sticking up or to the side like this one is. Take your spool of thread, and if it's got any sticky labels on either end, just get rid of those because they might just stick the spool to the pin. And take off this little cover off the pin, pop your spool onto the spool pin, and put this cover on top, and that will just hold the spool pin in place and stop it flying off when you're using the machine. And pull out some of your thread. Now this bit's really super important. You want to make sure that your thread is unraveling over the top of the spool pin and out towards the back. So not underneath, but over the top towards the back. Or if the spool pin's sticking up, you want it to be unwinding in an anti-clockwise direction. So around the back and towards the left of the machine. So pull out some of your thread. Now some machines have got an extra hook on here for winding, so just check your manual if you're not sure. Otherwise, all you need to do is just wrap it round the front of this little silver nub in here. Now this is actually two tension discs. You want the thread to be caught between the tension discs. Pull the thread round the front of the machine, and then you can grab your bobbin. Now your bobbin has got little holes either side. What I want you to do is to just poke the thread up through the top hole and then wrap it around the bobbin a few times in an anti-clockwise direction. So if you're looking at it from the top, it's unwinding in an anti-clockwise direction and just stick it onto this little spindle on this side of the machine. Put that in place. And then I'm gonna flick this spindle towards this stopper on the right. On some machines you flick the stopper towards the spindle, so just give one of them a shelf and see what happens. If you're using a mechanical machine, you can pull out the hand wheel on the right and that will tell your machine that you're going to wind the bobbin and it will stop the needle going up and down as you're doing it. You don't usually need to do that on a digital machine because it should already know once you've flicked this spindle towards the stopper that you're going to wind the bobbin. So when you're ready, just hold on to this little thread here coming out the top of the bobbin. We'll turn your machine on first, that would help. And then just put your foot down on the pedal and I'm going to hold on to this thread just for the first few seconds of winding. And then I'm going to let go. So I'm going to keep winding. You can keep going as long as you want. Basically, for you just want to put as much thread onto the bobbin as you need for whatever you're going to sew. We're just going to do a little bit of practice stitching so I don't need loads. So when you're winding the bobbin, just make sure that the thread is actually going onto the bobbin and not onto the spindle underneath, which can happen and it's really frustrating. So just keep an eye on that. And basically, whenever you, you think you've got enough thread, you can just stop, you can flick this back to the side to release it, and then just grab some scissors and just cut this cord to separate the spool from the bobbin any way you like, doesn't really matter. And while you're here, just snip off this little top thread as well, just off the top of the bobbin. Okay, so now we can thread the spool. First things first, take the thread off the tension discs at the top here. They're only for winding the bobbin, and if you keep the thread on the tension discs while you're sewing, you'll find that your stitches end up really, really tight. So this is a good point to check the manual of your sewing machine, because you might have some extra hooks up here. I've just got this first hook here that's labelled with number one, so I'm going to pull the thread round the back of that hook and then down this first channel where it says number two. Now pull it up the second channel and we're threading from right to left, so I'm going to hold it to the right of this channel. Now if you can't see a little hook at the top here, which I can't, just turn the hand wheel towards you 
and it will just move it up to the top. And this is the take up lever here. So you need to see that bit. Move the thread around the back of the take up lever and give it a yank just so the thread goes right through the eye at the front of this lever and then pull it down the other side. Above the needle, you'll have one or two extra hooks. This machine's got two. It's got a big one here at the base and then a smaller one just above the needle. So I'm just gonna pull the thread behind both of those hooks. So it's important to check how many hooks your machine has and thread them through all of the hooks intended by the manufacturer because otherwise your thread might not be held as taut as it's supposed to be and your stitching could end up looking a little bit dodge. So check your manual if you're not sure. Now you can thread the needle. Turn your machine off first so you don't accidentally sew over your hand, which wouldn't be fun. If you've got any fluffy bits on the end of the thread, just snip them off. Give yourself a nice clean end of the thread, make it a lot easier. And if you can't see the eye of the needle, just get the, an extra light from a lamp or your phone or something. Another thing you can do is just pop your finger or a piece of card behind the eye so you can see it more clearly. And hold the thread as close to the end as you can to give yourself a bit more control. Get right in and thread it from front to back. And just pull it through and make sure that it's not twisted around the needle. Now some machines have got an automatic needle threader on them. On my machine, what you do is you pull this little lever to the left of the needle down as far as it will go. Then you pull the thread around and under this little plastic hook and then right past the eye of the needle. Now, when you let go, you might need to give it a little shove, the loop, a loop of thread should just spring through the eye of the needle like so and you just pull it out towards the back and you're done. They are a little bit temperamental so if it doesn't happen first time just give it another go. So we've threaded the spool and now we need to thread the bobbin. So first I'm going to show you how to thread the bobbin on a front loading machine where it goes into the front here. Now on this machine you need to yank off this casing and then flip down this cover to reveal the bobbin case inside. Now you can pull it out at the handle. And then on this machine, I need to hold the bobbin so it's unwinding in a clockwise direction, but do check your own machine's manual in case it's different. Then drop it in the bobbin case and pull the thread round the side through this slit in the side here under the flap and through this hole here. So if you pull on the thread, you should be able to see the bobbin turning inside. And then pop the case back into the machine. This arm just needs to be sticking up. And click it into place. On a top loading machine, the bobbin case is fixed inside the machine, just in front of the needle plate here. So the first thing you need to do is just take off this little plastic cover. So I'm just going to flick this button to the side to remove it. And then just make sure that your bobbin thread is unwinding in an anti-clockwise direction if you're looking at it from above. So that's pretty important. And drop it into the case. And then pull the thread through this tiny little groove at the front here and off towards the left. So whether you're using a front loading or a top loading machine, all that's left to do now is get some of the bobbin thread up to the surface of the machine through this little hole in the needle plate just under the presser foot. So I'm just gonna take the presser foot off first so you can see what I'm doing a little bit more clearly. And what you need to do is hold the needle thread in your left hand and keep holding onto this and then turn the hand wheel towards you in a full rotation so the needle goes all the way down and all the way up again. And once it's gone up again, it will just catch some of the bobbin thread. Just pull on this thread in your hand, the needle thread, and the bobbin thread should come up to the surface like this. Now, if your presser foot is on here, all you need to do is just grab some scissors or something small and just swipe underneath just to pull that out to the surface. And then just pop the cover back on top of the bobbin case. And that's it, you've threaded your sewing machine. 
As I said at the beginning, it does seem like a very long-winded process, but please don't let that put you off. Just keep practicing and it will get so much quicker, it will get so much easier. So what I want you to do now is to go and have a go, thread up your sewing machine. Once you've done that, I want you to pull the thread out and thread it again. The second time round, you'll find you can do it so much easier, so much more quickly. Keep practicing and you'll soon be able to do the whole thing in a flash.